We're going to turn now to that desperate search for a 10-month-old baby girl in Missouri. Her name is Lisa Irwin, and she may have been stolen from her crib in the middle of the night. ABC's Dan Harris is in Kansas City for us. And, Dan, Lisa's been missing about a day now, so police have now canceled the Amber Alert. That's right, George. Police say that is a bit of a technicality, though, and they are still searching urgently for the child, although they do say that as every hour passes, this case gets harder to solve. Behind me is the house where the parents of little Lisa Irwin say she was snatched in the middle of the night out of her crib. It is a waking nightmare, and at this point, police freely admit they have no suspects and no leads. This is the face at the center of a frantic search, 10-month-old Lisa Irwin. She's got blue eyes, blonde hair, and just two bottom teeth. She was last seen wearing purple shorts and a purple shirt with kittens on it. Her mother, Debbie, told police she put Lisa down to sleep in her crib at around 10.30 Monday night. When her husband, Jeremy, came home at 4 a.m. after working an overnight job as an electrician, he found the baby missing and called police. We've got a five and a half window during which this child could have been taken. That's a pretty big window. That's right. Yeah. For, from an investigative standpoint, that's a big challenge. It is. The police immediately issued an Amber Alert and launched a massive search with the FBI, the ATF, the Marshals Service, mounted patrols, and canine units. The vast majority of child abductions in America are carried out by people who know the child. Lisa Irwin's parents, who have two older children, each from previous marriages, are not being called suspects right now, but they are being questioned intensively, and police say they are cooperating. Is it also possible that the nightmare scenario, the stranger sneaking into a random house and stealing a baby, is a live possibility? It is. We are not ruling that out. Neighbors are now left to watch the spectacle of their sleepy neighborhood becoming a crime scene and a national news story. So you knew the baby? Oh, yes. So when you heard she was gone? I said, oh, no. I just lost it. This is every parent's worst nightmare. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Oh, my God. There was one tantalizing lead phoned into police by a neighbor, a woman who lives right up there, who called police and said that her husband saw a man walking down one of the nearby streets with a baby in his arms in the middle of the night.